Okay, in, in my 1105 class, well, in fact, all of them, we've chosen to use either the TI-83 or TI-84 calculators. Um, before we go to the next part, which actually involves graphing, I want to take you to the calculator. Okay, in my class, I don't assume you know anything about it. So you go to turn it on to the on button and push it. And then you can tell it's on by this little rectangle appears in the, you know, main window. Now, whenever you're graphing on a graphing calculator, there are two things you need to do to start with. <clears throat> Step one is to always select Zoom 6. So you come over to your calculator. Okay, I'm trying to get it to let you see. This is the Zoom button, okay? Uh, trying to get a picture for you. You push Zoom, and that brings up a menu. And from the menu, you want to pick option 6, Zoom 6. Now, when you push Zoom 6, what it does is it puts a piece of graph paper for you on the calculator. It goes from negative 10 to positive 10 across the x-axis, and the same on the y-axis, from negative 10 to positive 10. And each little tick mark represents 1. That is called a standard window. Okay? Whenever you're, whenever you're doing anything on a graphing calculator, I want you as my student to always begin with a standard window when you're graphing. Okay? Now, this asks me to change table start to negative 3 and the change in table to 1. All right. If you will notice, I'm trying to get it to read it for you. Above the window key, there is a little key, there's a blue key that says table set. T-B-L-S-E-T. -E you should have your calculator out looking at it. It's above the window key. To get there, you hit second function window. Now, where did it want my table to start? You know, when it makes up values, it wants my table to start according to my directions at negative 3. The way you put that in your calculator, <clears throat> this negative 3, it's actually the opposite of button. The opposite of 3 is what I hit, and that put in a negative 3 for me. Okay, opposite of 3 is the correct way to say it. Change in table of 1. That's already there, and both of these should be on auto. Now, what you're actually telling your calculator to do is it's going to start plugging values in for you. What's the first value it's going to use? Negative 3. Ch this little triangle means change in. The change in the table setting is 1, so that means after it puts in a negative 3, it will add 1 to it. That'll put in a negative 2. Then it'll add 1 to that. It'll put in a negative 1, so it increments the starting value by one every time. Okay? All right. So we have our calculator set up now to graph. All right? Remember what we've hit. We hit zoom six, and that showed me my little piece of paper, which, which is called a standard window. All right? From negative 10 to positive 10 across, from negative 10 to positive 10 up. And we started our table by going to second function window. We put in negative 3, which is actually the opposite of 3. And we wanted our values to increment by 1. And make sure your calculator is on auto. You don't want to have to, it to ask for values every time. You want it to do it automatically when it's graphing functions for you. Okay, that's enough for this video. On the next video, we're going to learn how to actually do the graphing. But now we have our calculator set up ready to graph.